Well, if there is one dream job, we would definitely be on board for it. It is getting to play the goddess of pop, Cher, on Broadway. Yeah, that's the reality for Tony nominee Stephanie J. Block, who's wowing <laughs> critics and audiences in the Cher show. And yes, she gets to wear those amazing costumes. Take a look. If I could turn back time, if I could find a way, I'd take back those words that hurt you, and you'd stay. Stephanie joins us live. Welcome. It's so good to have you here. Good morning. I watch that. It makes me giggle when I see myself as <laughs> Cher. Really? Yes, yeah, still to this day, I look and go, that's me? Is oh, that me? I know. Oh, I know. Amazing. Well, because when I went to see it, too, I was like, is that not Cher? Wow, <laughs> thank you. You are Thanks. so good in this role. Um, what has it been like becoming this icon? Uh, thank goodness it took well over a year. I think had the job kind of landed in my lap and I had to jump into being Cher, it would have been a whole different thing. So I had time to marinate in who she is and what yeah. she is and how to become her. Of course, the mannerisms, everybody knows. Yeah. So yeah. we kind of had to check off the boxes of the, the tongue and the hair flips and the broken wrist. And But then finding the humanity really was the yeah. toughest part, to not just yeah. be an impersonation, but to bring because this really exquisite woman to life. Not just the facade of her, yeah. but the heart of her. Because I think people tend to overdo share when they I would do agree. share. I would you know agree I mean? with you, yeah. And you don't. But there's something beautiful about that, right? If you go camp with it, people are transported, they get to laugh. Yeah. But we really, really were striving to bring her life and yeah. her truth. And so you had to have the sequins, you had to have the wigs and all the bells and whistles. Yes. But there had to be meat on the bones and a lot of humanity to go with that. Yeah, even Eric McCormick from Wooling Gray said that you are a better share than share herself. <laughs> <laughs> How did you nail the voice without going too far? It took me a while, but are you ready for this? And am I allowed to plug a product? Yes. I please. was as I lick my teeth. I was on vacation <laughs> at Cape Cod. I was bleaching my teeth with crest white strips. Okay. And great. I was reading the script and all of a sudden I was trying to lubricate the, the mouth strips and I was talking and my husband <laughs> from the other room says, Stephanie, you found it. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I think I found Cher. Somehow I found Cher in my crest white strips. And that's how it happened. And then after oh I removed gosh. them, I had wow. to find what that technique was without <laughs> having the strips on. But that's the honest to God truth. It kind of brought everything forward and my whole attention. As singers, we're taught to bring everything kind of in the mask and, you know, in your diaphragm. Yeah. Here she speaks like down, and that's what I needed to bring my attention to that oh my place. Gosh. And that's a little bit about the production. There are three versions of Cher that we'll see. Why was yeah. that important um, to have three actresses take on this? Well, she has been, so, well, she's always herself, and I think her authenticity is what makes her so genius. But she has had so many different versions of the Cher yeah. we know, right? And with that comes a different energy. We've got Michaela Diamond, who plays Babe, and she just turned 19, and that youthful energy is, I, I, I like to think I'm a good actress, but trying to be 19 again <laughs> yeah. would be a, a difficult thing. There. It really is. The yeah. vulnerability and the innocence. We have have Teal Wicks playing Babe, which is much more of the pop goddess from the Sunny and Cher show and the Cher show. And then I kind of take over with the, when she becomes a uh, movie star and a different personality, a fashion icon. A fashion icon and, yeah. um, it's really beautiful to have this sisterhood yeah. and to have each other look at each other and counsel each other and cheer each other on. And I think audiences are loving the idea that we all get to have what we call therapy, yes. right? So it's a therapy yes. session with each other. Yes. And we say, you go, girl, or why did you do that? Or let's make better choices. Yeah. And I think humanity is in the audience going, oh my God, I talked to myself like that all day long. Yeah. So we get to bring that to stage. And it's been a really unique and wonderful storytelling um, device. Well, let's talk about these costumes because, <laughs> I mean, what is it like wearing these Bob Mackie designs? And do you have a, can you even pick a favorite? Oh, it is hard to pick a favorite. Um, I will say that the Mohawk design, the one that she presented the Academy Award, yeah. Yeah. that's one of the best entrances. I don't have to do anything except rise up from the stage and the audience goes yes. crazy. Yes. 
It's the easiest job I ever had, putting on that costume, stepping up on stage, and then they go crazy. I love that. But I'll be honest, I feel the most comfortable, and I'm able to deliver the story, I think, in such a way where I'm wearing jeans and a white T-shirt, which is very much the essence of Cher when you are hanging with her backstage. Yeah. There's a real comfortability of herself and loving her own skin that everything else is an accessory. Yeah. Of course, Bob helped make Cher. They go hand yeah. in hand, Bob Mackey and Cher. But yeah. when she's at home where you're just meeting her like this, she's just cool. She's just cool. Yeah. I love All her. All right. Oh. Well, you can catch Stephanie in the Cher Show playing now at the Neil Simon Theater. For tickets and more info, visit the Cher Show Broadway.com. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you both you. very much.